Hi, welcome to Delta Energy Systems Australia tutorial videos. Today we'll show you how to install and test our earth fault alarm on our RPI H series inverters. We will now demonstrate how to wire the H3 inverter. The H3 dry contact is on the left hand side of the inverter. You will need to remove the dry contact and the 12 volt DC terminal block with a pair of pointy nose pliers. Now connect the positive cable red in the dry contact and secure the connection. Follow the same procedure for the negative cable black and secure it in the ground block. To complete the circuit we will add a short cable from the VCC to the dry contact. Place the terminal blocks back into the MFR board. Your completed circuit should look like this. We will demonstrate how to wire the HA RPI inverters. The HA's dry contact is on the right hand side of the inverter. You will need to remove the dry contact and the 12 volt DC terminal block with a pair of pointy nose pliers. Now connect the positive cable red in the dry contact and secure the connection. Follow the same procedure for the negative cable black and secure it in the ground block. To complete the circuit we will add a short cable from the VCC to the dry contact. Place the terminal blocks back into the MFR board. Your completed circuit should look like this. Test procedure for the earth fault alarm on the H and HA series inverters is the same. To start the inverter, select English and press select. You need to set the country setting. Please select until you see AUNZ, press select. Now scroll through the menu by pressing select until you see exit, yes, no is displayed. Then press enter. Inverter will start after countdown and begin operation. We will now navigate to the installation mode by pressing the select button. Once you have found the installation mode, hold select and enter simultaneously for 10 seconds. You should now see the alarm flashing. This indicates that you have successfully installed the alarm. Next we'll show you how to install and test the earth fault alarm on our M-series RPI inverters. The MA's dry contact is on the right hand side of the inverter. You will need to remove the dry contact and the 12 volt DC terminal block with a pair of pointy nose pliers. Now connect the positive cable red in the dry contact and secure the connection. Follow the same procedure for the negative cable black and secure it in the ground block. To complete the circuit we will add a short cable from the VCC to the dry contact. Place the terminal blocks back into the MFR board. Your completed circuit should look like this. Now we will test the MA inverter's earth fault alarm. To start the inverter, select English as the language and press enter. You can now select country setting. Navigate to AUNZ and press enter. Confirm country setting. Yes, press enter. Ensure the ID is 001 and press enter. Confirm the ID is 1 by selecting yes. Press enter. 
Inverter will start after countdown and begin operation. Now press escape and scroll down and select installation settings and press enter. You will be required to input a password 5555. Using the up key to select 5 and press enter, repeat 4 times and press enter again. Once you have entered the password, scroll down and select dry contact installation and press enter. To complete the test, hold the up and down button simultaneously for 10 seconds. You should now see the alarm flashing. This indicates that you have successfully installed and tested the earth fault alarm. Thank you for watching this video. For more information on Delta Energy System products and services, please visit our website.